Saturday class lo follow up good morning. Saturday class lo HSCT as a measure of the what is the establishment of the quality control in fish industry. So detail the expand and explain the HSCT as a measure establish quality control in fish industry. Okay. So hazard analysis critical control point. So that's called the HSCT. So hazard analysis critical control point HSCT. So it is a system of assuring food safety and quality to the consumers. So it is a system of assuring food safety. So e HSCT and the food safety and quality to the consumer. So consumers ki safety food ni bolam. Alagi quality food ni. Retail chain, marketing chain, consumer satisfy and so on. So, it has a CCP and a system of assuring chain. So, it has now kind of worldwide recognitions as the most cost effective and reliable system of all. Okay. So, it has now kind of worldwide recognitions as the most cost effective and reliable system of all. So, it is a worldwide. So, gain and recognize the most effective cost to effective reliable system of the available in the HSCP. So, the system was developed in the 1960. This system was developed in the 1960 and got approval for implementation in the world countries in 1970. Okay. So, and got approval for implementation by like member countries in 1970. So, this system is based on the identification of risk. Okay. So, this system and I what is based on, based on the about the HSCP. So, it is a system of assuring the food safety and quality to the consumers. So, it has now gained worldwide recognition as the most cost effective and reliable system available. So, the system was developed in 1969 and got approval for implementation by member countries in 1970. So, this system is based on the identification of risk, okay? the identification of risks. So, minimizing those risks through the design in real or the physical environment. So, the identification of risk, so minimizing those risks through the design in real or the physical environment. So, minimize risks, minimize them through the design and layout of physical environment. So, physical environment will be this. Assuring high standards of hygiene. So, assuring high standards of hygiene. Okay. So, after setting measurable standards and established monitoring system, okay, setting measurable standards and establishing monitoring system. So, HSACP, hazard analysis, hazard analysis, critical control point, okay, HSCC means hazard analysis, critical control point, also establishes procedures necessary for verifying the effective functioning of the system. So, HSCCP also establishes procedures necessary for verifying the effective functioning of the system. Okay. Effective functioning is one key system in equal establishes. So, then this is the procedures we maintain this. So, after that, HSCP is a flexible system to be successfully applied to all critical systems. So, in HSCP already, is a flexible system to be successfully applied to all critical stages. And the critical stages for successful the rotating the applied to the system of the HSCP system. So, flexible system. So, from harvesting of fish to reaching the consumers. So, from harvesting of fish to reaching the consumers. So, okay. Fish harvesting which is direct to the region of the consumer. So, consumers quality food and safety food be transport ceremony, which is a thing very successful accomplishment. So, for such a system to work successfully, so for such a system to work successful, so this system is very successful to work and very complete. The stakeholder must go through that. 
సో స్టేక్ హోల్డర్స్ వంటి మస్ట్ కోఆపరేట్ చేయడం వల్ల సో ఈ ఈ సిస్టమ్ అనేది వర్క్ అని సక్సెస్ఫుల్ గా కంప్లీట్ చేస్తారు ఓకే దిస్ ఎంటైల్స్ ఇంక్రీజింగ్ ద నేషనల్ కెపాసిటీ ఫర్ ఇంట్రడ్యూసింగ్ అండ్ మెయింటైన్ హెచ్ఎస్సిసిపి మెజర్స్ సో ఈ యొక్క ఎంటైల్స్ ఇంక్రీజెస్ ద నేషనల్ కెపాసిటీ ఆఫ్ ఇంట్రడ్యూసింగ్ అండ్ మెయింటైనింగ్ హెచ్ఎస్సిపి మెజర్స్ ఓకే so this entails the increases the national capacity for introducing and maintaining hsccp process so hsccp is endorsed endorsed by the or uh, ehsccp anedi konni committees to endorse avadamu dee nunchi endorse avadamu organization entity fyo fyo means food and agriculture organization food and agriculture organization so already in the yesterday previous class we have covered alimentary assets gunji chalukunna kada so in covered alimentary assets also one endorsement of the ncc so a commission of the united nations baby alage if it if it means food and agriculture department after that european union after that who world health organization so these are the ncc's endorsed by the this particular organization so what is the fao codex alimentarius fad european union federation okay and um, explain hcp as a measure establishing quality control in fish industry so result analysis is critical control by hcp so it is the system of assuring food safety and quality to the consumers so it has now gained worldwide recognition as the most cost effective and reliable system of food so the system was developed in the 1969 and got approval for implementation by member countries in 1970s the system is based on the identification of risk risks minimizing those risks through the design and layout of the physical environment and assuring high standards of hygiene assuring i stand as a person after the setting the measurable standards so setting measurable standards and establishing monitoring system establishing monitoring system so okay so actually i stand as a person the identification of risk so minimize those risk through the design and layout of the physical environment okay so establishing monitoring system on setting measurable standards okay after uh, hcccp is also establishes producers to produce necessary for verifying the effective functioning of the system so hcccp is a flexible system a flexible round the system so to be successfully applied to all critical stages and the critical stages to successfully apply the system to system which is hcccp so from harvesting to harvesting of fish to reaching the consumers okay so hcp is a flexible system to be successfully applied to all critical stages from harvesting of fish to reaching the consumers for such a system to work successfully the state funds must cooperate with this entire entire increasing the national capacity for introducing and maintaining the hcp measures okay thank you hcp is endorsed by the fao so food and agriculture organization codex alimentarius so a commission of the united nations fao meets so food and agriculture department in european union okay so who so world health organization so these are the established procedures so that's been the functioning of this system 
had the sequence in the last one by the FKO called as Alvin Kelsey's FKOB, so E of the union WH for the FKOB. After HSCP uses seven basic principles, is there uh, what is it? Conduct a hazard analysis. First, uh, basic principles of check conduct a hazard analysis. After, after assessing all the processing steps, okay, we can all the processing steps of the fishing industry slope. Processing steps are ready. We can just see now that we can get to the system of the so the critical control point is control. So critical control points and my control down my left. But maybe the damage has to not only okay, maintain cheat later on checking with the rich chair on the chair. So I have a CCP under CCP is a critical control point. So a critical control point or points which determines and control significant hazard in food manufacturing process. So, we can critical control points or points so which determine and control significant hazards in a food manufacturing process. Okay, determine and control significant hazards in food manufacturing processes. Okay, so the next principle which is set up critical limits in order to ensure that the hazard identifier is being controlled effectively. So, set up critical limits. In order to ensure that the hazard identifying is a control effective, okay. So establish system and so as to monitor the system. So establish system so as to monitor the system, okay. After Establish corrective actions where the critical limits has not been established. Corrective actions so where the critical limit has not been admitted. So appropriate actions need to be taken, which can be on short or long term basis. So all workers must be sustained accurately. Okay. So all workers must be sustained accurately. So establish authentication procedures. So as to continue the principles imposed by SSAP, documents are being respected effectively. So and all records are being taken. So what the total records and documentation maintenance is allowed, what the records are being being the taken of the system of the HSCC. Okay. After analyze analyze it the Analyze if the HACCP plan are working effectively. Verification ensures the HACCP plan is adequate but is working as intended. Verification procedures may include such activities as review app for HACCP plans. Okay, so CC quality uh, control, uh, control point records, CCP records, and the critical limits. And microbial sampling and analysis. So microbial sampling and analysis. So FAD and food and agriculture development FAP requires the HSCP plan include verification task to be performed by plant personnel. So verification task would also be performed by HSCP FAD inspectors. So verification already the FAD inspectors and the HSCP already inspection salary. Task in complete So, both FAD and the industry will undertake microbial testing. So, FAD and the like industry will undertake microbial testing as one of the several verification activities. So, microbial testing only maintains so for one of several verification activities. Okay. So, these are the seven principles of the HCCP. Seven basic principles of HSCP connect to mm 
conducted soil analysis of the processing of all the processing steps in the critical control point is controlled CCCP critical control point or points is determined and controls significant hazard in the food manufacturing process. So set up critical units in order to ensure that the hazard identified is being controlled effectively. So establish system so as to monitor the CCP. So establish corrective actions where the critical unit has not been made. Appropriate actions may could be taken which can be on a short or long term basis. All records must be sustained accurately. Okay, so establish authentication procedures so as to comply with the principles imposed by HACCP documents so are being inspected effectively and the all records are being taken. So okay, mm -hmm. after that, I will analyze if the HACCP plan on working effectively. Okay, effectively. So verifications can show the HACCP plan is adequate. So that is working as intended. Verification procedures so may include such activities as review of the HACCP plans. So after critical control point records and critical units and microbial sampling and analysis. So FAD requires the HACCP plan include verification tasks to be performed by plan person. So verification tasks would also be performed by FAD inspectors. So FAD means food and agriculture department inspectors. So both FAD and industry may undertake microbial testing as one of the of several verification activities. Okay. So microbial testing as one of several verification activities. We take the FAD and plus industry sampling laboratory. The testing of the several verifications after this completes after that the system rules and regulations processes in the SCC plan and work needed effectively and functional chairing in the summary of the SCP and the food industry assembly consumers to retain the quality for the safety for the need to provide just for the SCP and the SCC okay so after some verifications also includes validation for the process and for finding evidence for the accuracy of the GCCPs. Okay, so e verification may enter the includes of the values. So validation is the process. So passing the values may be validation may be just on finding evidence. So evidence is not find yourself for the accuracy of the GCCP. So total of product will accurate on the from the product will be implemented in the GCCP only my GCCP. So scientific evidence for critical limitation. So scientific evidence is not conscious. Critical limitations may be the look. So it has a CCP and the conscious. So the product of product and the so quality and the limitations and the consumer's key. Retail ha, low cost lo, low price lo, quality, quality food ni and the safety food ni, trans, iwada ma yandhi, jantri. So these are the seven principles of the HSCC. Okay? HSCC is a, also established procedures necessary for verifying the effective function of the system. So HSCP is a flexible system to be successfully applied at all critical stages. So for the harvesting of the fish to reach in the conditions. So mm -hmm. one system to work successfully a stockholder needs to open. So this entails increase, increasing the additional capacity for introducing and maintaining HSCP measures. So okay, HSCP is endorsed by the FAO. Codex Almontiasis, FAD, European Union, WHO. Mm -hmm. After 
seven basic principles of criticism. So conduct conduct hazard analysis of the single deposit steps critical control points if it's retainable control significant hazard in the big manufacturing process. So set up critical limits in order to ensure that the hazard identified that is being controlled effectively. So establish system is as so as to monitor the CCP. So establish corrective actions where the critical limit has not been implemented. So appropriate actions need to be taken which can be done in short term long term basis on the requirements to sustain the clarity. So after established applications procedure so as to continue with the principles and post of the HSCP documents are being respected effectively on the first one being taken. So online if the HSCP plan are working effectively, verification means the HSCP plan will be adequate so that is working as intended. So verification procedures will include such activities and review of HSCP plans, HSCP reports, and critical limits, and multiple sampling of the analysis. Keeping procedures, so procedures for the type of request is established in the interest of the system. The HSCC regulations are required that the compliance maintain certain documents, including its hazard analysis and written HSCC plan, records documenting and monitoring of critical control points, so critical limits, verification activities. And the, the handling of passing deviations. So, implementations involves monitoring the same and validating of the daily work that is compliance with the regulatory requirements in the most of this only. Okay. The step of recursive keeping procedure, HSCC regulations requires that all plans maintain certain documents. So, including its hazard. Analysis. So, hazard analysis basis can be such type of records and maintain just that. So, maintain just that. Okay. And return the HSCP plan. So, HSCP plan to return, return the plan and then just that. Another records maintain just that. Documenting records and documentation of maintain just that. Without wanting the critical control points. So, critical control points of the A plan, the A year. As in the situation, the new as in the see, you can documentation so you can personally industry is all in the maintenance system. Like a critical limits, so limits for the maintenance system. Like a verification activities. If the heavy heavy all industry is all verification procedure, so verification in the front of plants and rules and regulations and the industry and the industry and the maintenance system. So on the hand of the Passing deviation. So, correct handling of the passing deviation. So, deviation, uh, passing of deviation is very similar. So, handling of the connecting, doing the fresh fishing, fresh water from fishing is connected. Different sides can be fishes are the available. So, what about the deviation chair? Deviation chair is a side is not the weight for the weight easily. Separate key returns here, the main thing just to the trace will be the continuous layers as we do all right. So, all of it are one of the implementation just to the monitoring. In months, monitoring, verifying and validating of the daily work that is compliance with the regulatory requirements in all stages of the outcome. So, correct. All stages low, all times are ready. 
regular family dreams are a bit complex here. Okay. So what is the standard of the best maintenance of the HSCP? The seven um, very you know the seven principles of the HSCP are including the international standards. Okay. Uh, international standards like okay. ISO twenty two thousand FS in this 2011 this, this standard is a complete food safety and quality management system incorporating the elements from this prerequisite sites programs um, that's called the GMP okay, good manufacturing practices and SSOP so these are the HSCP and the quality management system so which together form an organization's total quality management system Okay. So standard survey maintenance. Okay. Okay. Standards look the seven HSCP principles are included in the international standard ISO twenty two thousand FTS MS two thousand eleven. His standard is a complete safety and quality management system. Incorporating the elements of prerequisites program, ZMP, and the SSOP, uh, and the NCSCP, and the quality management system, which together form an organization's total quality management system. Okay. Okay, other standards such as safety, quality, food industries, SQF, or also relates upon the HSCP methodology as a basis for developing and maintaining food safety level 2 and food quality levels plans and programs in, in concerned with the fundamental prerequisite sites of good manufacturing practices. Okay. What is the applications of the HSCP? So fish and fishery products, so fresh cut produce, produce, so all like juice and nectar products, so product food outlets, so up to meat and poultry products, so school foods and services. Even if the applications are HSCP and Okay. So fish and fishery products, fresh cut producer produce, and juice and makeup products, so food outlets, meat and poultry products, so school food and services. Okay. Next to training, you know, adequate training facilities for all levels of stock. So upper industries low access stocking or adequate uh, Training facilities for all levels. All levels look. On the levels look. Staff key for training and the workers could should be provided to ensure their quality to training and good management practices. So in the business. So business purpose look. Good management practices for quality qualitative of the upgrading look. In churches, the workers key and staff key. So, training must be consistent, relevant, and continuous of the understanding. So, training must be consistent, relevant, and continuous up to date and understandable. Okay. So, we need to consider relevant development and continuous development up, up to date, up to date, understandable development. Training will be corrected. And the previous knowledge to put present knowledge and implement your search. So, let like training your workers to start to work training. So, they must be deputed to the institutes for learning both theory and practical to face the problems arising in English. So, you can make the institute changes with the learning of the both the theory and practical. So, theory to put it. Practicals product to face the problem, or in a type of problems are resolved. What not the implementation will actually be done? What the training program will be conducted? Obviously, the down levels no. Come down levels no training will be done by the children, staff, and the workers.